Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmville. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a McCormick. I was talking about the McCormick anyway, and this one is 190 horsepower. Now I can get the maximum upgrade on there, which should cost us 195, so it's an extra 25,000, and that puts us up to 240 horsepower instead of being 190 horsepower. But it's also an extra 25,000. So I'm thinking this is an upgrade that we could do a little bit later on rather than doing it now. And that would allow us to get a new seed drill, which is another thing that I want to do. I want another direct seed drill. And I've decided against using the really dirt cheap one. Um, where is it? That case one right there, it's really dirt cheap. And I've decided against using it because it's so cheap. It's almost kind of cheaty. It doesn't feel like it's particularly realistic on it um so in which case i'm gonna try and find another one that i think would be suitable what i'd actually really like is this one here the from the horse aggravation pack a six meter one or uh this coon one right here which again is six meters wide uh or the Pottinger, which is also six meters wide. This one's got a higher capacity on it. So I would like sort of something like that. This one here is eight meters wide. So we've got some nice big seed drills here. They're direct seed drills. Um, I kind of want one from the Horsch Aggravation Pack. I thought that would be pretty cool. So maybe we go with this one here. But it's 100,000. It's way more than I can actually afford. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the mccormick tractor here the hundred and seventy thousand one, and i'm gonna buy the engine upgrade straight away so it costs us two hundred thousand that's 240 horsepower we don't necessarily need that but i want to invest that money in the tractor right away well let's say invest it's not really investing when um we're sort of doing it but anyway i want to get that one straight away so we've got that tractor it's done it's there it's in the stable and we can use the smaller machinery on it but i'm also not going to have to worry about trying to upgrade it later when i'm looking to um get the bigger seed drill and stuff like that so i'm going to buy that one right there and then i'm also going to get me a front weight I'm going with the agco front weight right there it's nearly two tons that one and i've got McCormick, which I think the Massey Ferguson red is possibly a bit too bright. So we'll try the case red and we'll see what that one comes out at. That's 2,450 euros. So this tractor here is ready to go with the mowing. Although I don't necessarily need that one to do the mowing. I could have that one doing some of these other jobs. And we could have our new tractor. Actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have our new tractor doing the mowing. So this tractor here is at the moment because the seed drill that i'm looking at well i can't go and buy a seed drill at the moment so that means that we're going to be using this little seed drill that we got right here um which means that i'm going to need to cultivate the fields first so this year we're going to need to cultivate first and we do have the other seed drill which the, the planter that one would require cultivating anyway it's just something that would need to be done so we need to keep the cultivator that's something that we're going to have to keep in our little stable there is the older plow that we've got that one i could sell in order to generate a little bit of additional funding if i needed to i am aware actually that i forgot to sell the eggs this morning which is something i'm supposed to have done um so let me just go in here and open this one out and get it ready I'm going to just do this edge of the field right here. Run down the edge of the field here all the way down through. So I don't know how much I've actually missed with the plow. I think that was actually it. And uh, you know what? I don't think I need to worry about doing any more than that. I can tidy up this end afterwards. And I'm going to do the cultivating across here because I figure that... If I leave the cultivator going just there, he will work back and forth doing this bit right here until he's done everything that um, hasn't been ploughed. And I see, this is what I'm curious about, is whether he's going to go right to the edge of the field. And yes, because he's going to go right to the edge of the field, that's why I want him going in that direction. I think it's just going to be quicker. 
As long as it doesn't drive into the river, we'll be fine. You have finished doing this field, just about. So I'm going to manually finish off this field. And then this one, we will change the seed over and we will just drop into that next field that's right next to us there. And that one needs to be planted with wheat. And then once that field is done, uh, that's most of the... Well, that's all of the autumn planting done. Well, apart from, obviously, the one that we're cultivating at the moment. But that one will sort of do two together as we'll do that one once the cultivating is finished. He'll go straight in there with the other seed drill. Um, and then while all that's happening, we will collect our new tractor, drive home, get the mower on, or the two mowers that we've got, go out to this field right here, and we will commence mowing that field. We need to turn all of that into hay, get it all bailed up, and put it back into the shed. Now, I have decided to stick with the baler that we've got. It doesn't go any faster than what it does at the moment. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to stick with the smaller bales or change to the bigger bale size. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I don't think it affects the speed that it travels across the ground in any way. Um, my reason for wanting to upgrade to a different baler is because I want the baler to go faster. It has been pointed out to me that I'm not actually going to be saving very much time by doing that. Um, so maybe I shouldn't actually worry myself about it. And I should instead focus on getting some other things that would be time, effort, and money better spent, essentially. Um, so I'm also not going to do mulching. Um, we have a mod that incorporates rolling into the field when you do planting. If you have a look in here, I'll show you what I mean. So we go here and you have a look. It's got the needs rolling there. You got like a you get like a couple of little spots that will turn up here and there, but for the most part, it doesn't show anything up. And that is just how this particular mod works. Um, it adds a roller to all of the seed drills. So we don't need to worry about doing any rolling in this series, which is good because I always feel that that's sort of a, a really tedious field stage step. And because we've got the rolling happening already, we don't need to do the mulching. Um, if we weren't doing the rolling, then the mulching, I think, does actually help make the yield go all the way up to maximum. Um, it sort of... Because if you don't roll, I think rolling um, or not rolling gives you a bit of a yield penalty. So if you mulch and don't roll, you compensate for the yield pen penalty that the lack of rolling um, puts into the field. So because we are rolling, we've got the rolling sort of being taken care of by this mod, uh, we don't need to worry about it. So yes, I could do like super realistic and say we have to actually go and roll the fields ourselves, or something like that. However, we I don't really feel the need to do that many field steps in order to get everything done. It sort of feels like it's a bit unnecessary and, you know, it's... it's about striking that balance between gameplay and um, realism and also entertainment and I don't think it's going to be particularly entertaining for me to do lots and lots of extra field steps when they're really not needed. So I'm going to do a couple of passes around this field with this seed drill and then I am going to get our uh, actually, yeah, I'll go and get our new tractor. Once we've, I've done, I'll do a, a couple of passes around the outside. I'll set the hired help going with this one, and then we can get our new tractor and get the mowers. But I tried setting the hired help going just there, and it said no field found, which I can't say I'm particularly surprised to be honest. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try that one more time. I'm going to go back over here. I think that's kind of the angle that I want it to be at. And let's try from there. Oh, okay. We now have a hired help. Going to jump in there and go on a little bit. Come up here. Are you going to turn around? You can actually do it. Aha, right. 
That one is now working and we have a new tractor and we did pick correctly with the color of the front weight. That's excellent. So if we grab that one, it is a little bit heavy potentially that front weight, but I'm okay with that because as soon as we get something on the back, it's going to sort of even that out. Um, so I'm all right with that. And we have a 53 kilometer an hour top speed on this bad boy, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm pleased with this tractor. I like this tractor already. So we need to get this one back home and then we can get the mowers hooked onto it and bring those out to the grass field, start doing some work out there. And then, well, that's, that's it really. We've just got to carry on and do that mowing and also keep that cultivator tractor running um, so that we can, as soon as the cultivator is finished out there, we then need to get the other seed drill on. If I get too close behind this track, this car here, gonna slam his brakes on he's gonna brake test me there we go see they brake test you they actually brake test you the cars in this game brake test you I I kind of like that because you are getting too close so, so you know brake checking is not a good thing to go and do it really isn't but people do it and if someone is gonna brake check you it's probably gonna be when you're really 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 close up behind them like that Right, let's drop that one down there because I don't want that front weight. I want this front mower over here. And then at the moment we got that trailed mower. Something that I do want to get is butterfly mowers rather than trailed mower. But I guess I don't need to worry about that at the moment because the hired help did seem to do a reasonable job with it. At least I think they did. We will test the hired help with both of these mowers together in a minute. We're going to take them out to the field first. Let's hook you on there. And the eggs. I did forget the eggs, and I said I forgot the eggs, and then I left the eggs anyway. So let's go and do the eggs a minute. We'll go in here. We'll open that one. We'll run in here. And uh, I do need to do like that. So we've got 840 litres of eggs. I'll bring you out here. I am just going to carry these eggs. I don't think there's any point in us loading them onto a pallet or anything like that. Because uh, the... Like, if we were moving these in real life, you, you wouldn't need to worry about loading them onto a trailer or anything. You would still carry them by hand. It, it's not something that you would ever actually worry about. So we take all of these in here and we dump them. And that has gotten us 2,755. Now, we were an hour late, so there was a little bit of extra that we got from that. But still, two, two and a half grand from that. And plus, we get a reasonable amount for our milk each day as well so we're gonna be able to build our money up now this one their health is on 69 percent at the moment that's still climbing this one is on 100 percent reproductions on 30 percent it will take a little while before any new cows and we do have magic cows it i i, I will just point that out the cows start producing milk in the game at 12 months long before they've had a calf this doesn't happen in real life. It, it absolutely does not happen in real life. They need to have the calf first, then they produce the milk. Um, but this is a game, and we will allow them a little bit of artistic license. And we're not going to complain very much because it means that our cows start producing milk at 12 months instead of us having to wait until about two years old for it. Which is a lot better. It, it's a lot faster. It's a lot more efficient that way. Uh, and I quite like this idea. I think that um, it, this approach should be taken more frequently in more places. Right, let's go to here. So I'm going to switch to the front mower like this. And then we're going to control X and that will unfold both of them. And we will bring the mower up here like this so that it's ready I will start both of them up like that and lower them both down like that there we go right we are now ready and away so I can stay out a fair way on the outside round because there's still grass that we can get from it it's just that when you do go round the outside edges with the trailed mower you always leave the bits behind but I mean we know that well, I already talked about that previously 
and we'll do the tidy up at the end of the job. So we won't worry about trying to collect it all in. You just drive around the field normally and we collect it all in once we are finished doing all of the mowing. So we'll come on up here. These bits, where you see the grass that is the same as the grass that's in the field, when you cut that, it actually turns that into little bits of field. It doesn't register on the map as bits of field until you cut it. But once you cut it, it does register as that, and then it will stay as that for the rest of the time that you play, unless you go over it with the um, landscaping tools and you change it yourself. So I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave it there. And But that's why you do get those little patches. It's because that type of grass, when you put it anywhere on the map, it does actually have that particular peculiar property about it. It will change into something that you don't necessarily want when you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. Right, we're going to run around here like this. And... See, here I could go a bit close to the lake if I want to do. I'm not actually going to. I'm going to move on in and we're just going to focus on cutting the decent grass. So I'm going to do a second time around. And then I think that's going to be enough. We will come back and we'll, like I said, we will do that tidy up at the end of the mowing job. So once we've done all the mowing, then we will come back and tidy all of that up. And then that's all the mowing finished. And then we can worry about the other bits. Um... First thing I'm going to do is just make sure that the hired help can actually cut this field. Because it's something that I'm, I've not done very much, is using a trailed mower with hired help. I know that you can, in theory, use a trailed mower with hired help. It does work. The game is designed now to actually do that, which is great. Because uh, it's not just the mower that we've got that does sort of along the side like that. There's also a muck spreader that does it as well. And I really like those tools. I think they're really good. Like if you've got a, a rotor spreader or any kind of muck spreader that does things out the side, I actually really like them. They're my preferred tool to use if I can. Right, where's gonna be the best place to start doing the hired help work? I would guess, I don't wanna do it this direction. Just going up here so that it doesn't cause us any problems. Um, I'm actually thinking the... Oops. I don't want to do that. I wanted to do that. There we go. Lift them both up. That's what I wanted to do. So I'll bring that one back over here. I'm actually thinking that we want to do it from this side. And I am going to just take out... that there and there just because I'm here and I'm not going to need to worry about it for the rest of the field and I'll take that bit out and then we will start the hired help working over on this side and he will um, so that he can get down through here and do longer and longer runs as he works his way across the field so that is kind of the in line with the map right there and that's the direction that I want to go so I'm going to bring that one back up to there. I don't think we've quite got enough room. I'm thinking I may need to go around three times, but I'm going to try it out. Put that one in there. It's now going on a sort of... Uh, it is going in a cardinal direction. That's, that's the, the, the phrase I'm looking for, a cardinal direction, because that's uh, the, the north, south, east, west. So he's heading east at the moment. Well, she is. She is, I should say. She's heading east. She's going to come up. She's going to turn around. Okay, apparently she needs a lot of space to turn around here. Coming in around there. It should still work, though. I see no reason for us to panic. And what's the forecast a second? When is the rain? Right, it's rain this afternoon, and it's just going to keep raining. So I'm going to leave the time on one time speed at the moment, and we'll worry about changing that later on. Right. I'm not going to be able to come into the field with a hay turner or anything like that to start turning the hay until this job is finished because of the uh, little bits around the edge that we're going to want to go through and just sort of finish up. So I'm just going to watch this tractor come around again and do another line and we'll see 
if it's going to be able to do the whole lot, it does actually. Right, so we can get away. We're just doing twice around the outside edge. And that is enough room for the tractor to be able to go up and turn around. Now, on the angled side of the field, so obviously it's leaving a little bit behind on the grass, but it's not actually leaving all that much behind. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, there's a couple little bits right there, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not very much. And once the tractor does a couple more passes, we'll be doing full lengths across the field. It's going to be doing a really good job i'm actually rather pleased with how this is working out because the the field is a bit of a triangle shaped field anyway so it doesn't really matter which side we start the tractor on is going to have some short runs and with the hired help the way they work it's always best to start the short runs on the shortest side of the field is that, is to, you know, so you start with the short runs and you build up to getting longer and longer because the hired help is then able to find the new edges of the field all the way through. It leaves little bits on the edge, so you leave those little triangles all the way down through. But if you do it the other way, it can very often just get to the end of the row and then turn around and say, yeah, can't find the field, I'm giving up and going home. And you know what I happen to... You, 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 some of you may know what I feel about that particular hired help response to any situation just not necessary is it it is just not necessary so i'm just going to watch this one go up through here one more time because we've got a nice long run that we can get up through here and then we're going to switch over to the cultivator see how that one's getting on because he should be almost done up there and that means we can get the seed drill going and once we've got the seed drill going we should then be in time to come back to the other seed drill and pop that back to the farm to reload the fertilizer on it you're all coming up through there. I like the new tractor. I do. I really do like this new tractor. This new tractor is looking awesome. I'm very pleased with this. I feel this was money well spent. We have just under 25,000 right now. And with the regular income that we'll be getting from the cows and the chickens every day, we should be in a position next spring to be looking at our new seed drill. So those of you who said do not go and increase the loan you're absolutely right increasing the loan would have been a bad idea um we will make do with what we got and we will keep working like that we need to stop just spending money for the sake of spending money and use what we've got until we have expanded our enterprise enough that we've got some decent income coming in so the, the i think the main two things that we're going to want are bigger seed drills to speed up the whole drilling process because at the moment our seed drills are quite small and uh hmm. you know i'm not actually sure i was thinking seed drill maybe a, a bigger cultivator to go with it but we don't use the cultivator on that much so maybe just more cows so that we get more milk coming in let's go and have a look like i said this one over here we are literally doing the last little bit right now there it is. That is the last little bit. So I'm just going to stop the hired help right there. That bit up there is all absolutely hunky-dory and tickety-boo. I will drop this one down here and we will do a run down this side. Just fill that bit in. And I think the rest of the field is already done. So now all I need to do is go and get our seed drill. Make sure that we've got barley in the seed drill and then start planting this field. That should be fairly simple and straightforward. I don't think that's going to be a problem. We will do uh, once around the outside edge of the field, I think. Just once and then let the hired help do everything else. Right, I don't think there's anything else I need to do with that one. Let's put the beacons on. Let's fold that one up as we drive down the road. Just like that. Bring you on round. So I'm going to need the cultivator again, but not until next spring. Well, I suppose during the winter. We will try and cultivate and fertilize fields and so on through the winter as we progress. But we're not going to need it now. I definitely don't need that seed drill, that planter right there at the moment. So we always have to just drop those down, those ones. Well, not necessarily all of them, but there's enough of them that start to unfold when they're in the shed that it makes me cautious. Now... I'm keeping that plough at the moment 
because there's always the possibility that we're going to want additional um, plows to work the land. Because, actually, what crops have we got that actually need plowing? I think the only crop that we've got, and you can see where I went out from the edge of the field where we've got the extra dots there that needs plowing bits. That's those extra bits that's not actually in our field. Um, I think the only crop that we grow that you've got to plow afterwards is the corn. Because the other two that need, well, I think three, I think it's sugar cane, sugar beet, and... Uh, potatoes and then corn and I don't think any of the others actually need to be uh, need any plowing at all I, I don't think that's a thing um which does make life very easy for us right hang on I don't want to go there do I I want to if I'm going to load up seed in this thing I need to actually use the pallets that we got over here so let me open that one up there and oops, this way. grab a pallet and just load that up. There we go. Right. And off we go. Right. I don't want to be planting grass, do I? Uh, no, not wheat. It's barley in this field. So the two biggest fields will have a straw. But we, because of the mod that we've got, we get straw from every field. So uh, that's not going to be a thing. I'm still not... I'm. St Personally, I'm still undecided on whether or not I should put any straw in for the cows at all. Um, some of you have said yes, I should, because you want to see me using the manure in the fields and uh, using that as additional fertilizer. Uh, some of you have said, no, don't worry about it, it's just another step. Um, so, yeah, I I'm kind of undecided. Uh, some of you said that, you know, I maybe I could do that because then I could do more of the sort of organic type farming that I generally try to do but for this series I have said that I'm not going to stick with organic farming I'm gonna just use um, uh, conventional fertilizers but that shouldn't stop me from spreading manure on the fields although what I was actually thinking was that the spreading of the manure is a uh, quite a time-consuming job so maybe I wouldn't do that I mean we're gonna get slurry anyway so I could always go and buy a slurry spreader later on and we could do a bit with that. But I generally, I, I don't think I need to worry about that too much. I don't, I don't need to make any kind of decision on it either way at the moment. I should instead, um, we'll, we'll just sell the straw straight off the field for all of the crops and we will... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.